please, co-chair of the Greece Solidarity Campaign. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Paul. Thank you for coming again, showing your solidarity. It's not a time for celebration right now. It's, a it's, yeah, it's not a time for celebration right now. The developments are rapid and some of them are extremely painful at this moment in time. But now it's a time for us to show what we are made of, our maturity, our determination and so on. Some of you have come here because they feel an empathy with the small Greek uh, population fighting against these huge odds against a determined sort of international interest. Some of us are here because you see that what is happening in Greece is not just about Greece, it's about all of us, and Greece happens to be the front line uh, on behalf of all of us. In the last few days, the developments have been moving, and we don't know exactly what will happen over the next couple of days, but there have been a, let's not disguise it, a setback, a huge setback at this moment in time. The Greek people have suffered, and are suffering in this battle at this moment in time. We were set up here with a promise that we will help the Greek people not to tell them what to do, but to help them whatever they decide to do. And I hope that we will keep that promise. I also want to say that for the last six months, the other side have done everything possible to destroy that government and humiliate it. We have survived until now. That government has survived just right now, is in danger. Let's please, please, please not hand over to the other side the thing that they wanted all these six months, for which we suffered so much, and which they haven't succeeded yet in getting. This is a time more than any other time for unity. So please, whatever we do, let's just think what implications of everything we do and say right now. And above all, let's promise that over the next few days, over the next few weeks, over the next few months, we will support in any way possible we can our friends, our comrades in Greece who actually have suffered not only for themselves, but on behalf of, of all of us. I hope that we will win in the end. We still can win. It's an uneven war, but we still can win. And during these last few days, we have managed some successes. The one big success is that for the first time, the veil has been lifted across Europe, and the average European citizen has for the first time started seeing what is really happening. That is quite su substantial progress. The second thing is for the first time we've seen the last few days that the united front of the austerity forces, the neoliberal forces in, in Europe has started cracking. It might not last for very long, but it has started. Let's just build on that. Thank you once more for being here. Please, please remember, it's only a part. We're, ha we're, we're in the beginning of a long war, and a difficult war, and an uneven war, but one war that we can still win. Thank you very much.